So, you know, it's hard to believe, David, but on this day, uh, this would be the opening ceremony in Tokyo, and yet uh, it's another year away. Um, it's just, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Well, we, we hope it's another year, Ray, uh, and Marie. I mean, uh, you, you know me, I'm, I'm, I'm about the biggest Olympics nut that I know of, so it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's very deflating that, there were, that we're not uh, watching the games in Tokyo now, but it's better that they be postponed than canceled altogether. Right. Um, and you've been following Hoosier hopefuls for, for many, many years. In fact, uh, you've, just, you've written a book. Tell me about that. Yeah, here's, uh, here's the book. It's on uh, Indiana University Olympians. You can see Lily King there on the cover. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, published by IU Press. And uh, IU Press um, asked me to write about 20 to 25 IU Olympians. So of course I wrote about 49 of them. <laughs> They've, they've, they've had a lot more than that, but, uh, but the, uh, the research was, was really fun and, 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 you know, a lot of the stories, you know, not only of their, their athletic careers, but sometimes their, their post-athletic careers are, are, are just remarkable. And um, so, I mean, I guess I'd caution people, you don't have to be an IU fan to like this book if you just like Olympics and, and, uh, and, and stories of people achieving things. Uh, this is this would make an interesting read. You know, I'm curious, David, when you were doing the research of these athletes and writing this book, did you find that they shared a common thread? Uh, that, that's a good question. I think maybe just just so highly motivated, uh, mm -hmm. you know, motivated and driven. You know, I guess you could be too driven and I guess even, you know, cause, causing harm to yourself. But but uh, and, and in several of the cases, they had um, they had people who believed in them before they believed in themselves. So, you know, I, I think that's probably an, an, important, uh, an important thing to be learned from, from researching some of these Olympians as well. Um, so how many Olympians do you profile in the book? And if you had to say who were your top, top one or two to, to research, who would it be? Well, um, I, I say I wrote, I wrote about 49, um, you know, including, you know, and, and they're from, from basketball, track and field, swimming, diving, soccer, and then I had one athlete each in baseball, softball, and wrestling. Um, certainly the, uh, the uh, story of Greg Bell, recently retired uh, dentist at, at uh, Logan State Hospital, is amazing. And he spent part of his youth being raised in a chicken house in Ter Terre Haute because his family's... Um, house burned down. And then he, he was second in the state in high school, but then uh, was away from track and field for years, was in the military, found he was doing better than ever, um, won some awards. A local doctor saw a trophy in, in his room and, and basically ordered him to go to enroll at IU at age 24. And <laughs> so, so, so he did. And like two years later, he's the Olympic gold medalist in, in Melbourne in the long jump. I mean, it's, it sounds like total fiction, but it, but it's the truth. Uh, and, and what about Lily King? Well, Lily King, of course, her, you know, her, her rise was, uh, was extremely meteor, meteoric as well. I mean, the, uh, uh, I think back sometime to the 2015 high school season, uh, you know, how, how good the Carmel high school team was that year. Carmel high school girls won every event at state, except the two that Lily King won. But, but this one thing going from the Indiana state champion one year to uh, world stage and Olympic gold medal the next. And, and uh, you know, she, in a way, kind of had humble beginnings. She, she barely had enough room in her lane at her Evansville pool sometimes uh, to train. And then she, she really thrived under Coach Ray Luz at, at IU. And, and, of course, is, you know, is probably one of the most, uh, you know, famous Hoosier athletes that, that we have in any sport. As we're looking ahead to potentially the games being a year away, um, who are the Hoosier athletes that uh, you think uh, are best poised at this point uh, to have a place on the podium? Well, I, I think uh, Brownsburg cyclist Chloe Digert mm -hmm. could be a huge star. I mean, she could, to me, she could be one of the huge American stars of the, uh, of the Olympics, you know, irrespective of sport. Um, she, she was, she's been dominant on the track in uh in uh in team uh team pursuit and unfortunately her best event probably is individual time trial which is not an olympic event 
but then she easily won the the uh, time trial in the World World Championships. And I, I just think Chloe Dyker could be could be could be a huge deal. Um, you know, a, after that, it's a little bit indeterminate. I mean, I, I, the Lily King certainly, and I think some other uh, I think some other IU swimmers could be there. Uh, Carmel has never had a swimmer on the U.S. Olympic team, and they have several candidates: uh, uh, Drew Kibler, Amy Bilquist, uh, Jacob Mitchell. Um, you know, you know, all have a chance, and and uh, uh, and of course, David Bodia going for a fourth Olympic Games, which would just be extraordinary. Right, and and for him to completely change events too, to go from platform to springboard diving. You know, yeah, you can say, well, like he's still diving, but boy, it, it, it's a lot different. That's like saying. It's like taking a uh, you know a catcher and uh, putting him in center field. Well, it's you know it's still baseball, still the same sport, but it's a completely what he's doing is completely different from from his uh, platform diving. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for your time and your perspective. I mean, you've been just such a great source of information for me over the years as you know navigating our ways of uh, these who's your Olympian. So once again, tell me about your book um, and where people can get it if they'd like to see it. Yeah, it's called it's called Indiana University Olympians from Leroy Samsey, who actually was a 1912 pole vaulter, to Lily King, and it's it's available on Amazon and and you can get get ordered online through the IU Press website as well. Yes, well, thank you so much for your time, and uh, I hope that uh, you have great success with this books as well, David David Woods. Hey, thanks, Anne Marie. Thanks so much for having me on.